For centuries, Mars has fascinated humanity, a red world in the night sky so close, yet so far. But what if humans actually colonized Mars? What would life be like on a new planet? The journey alone would be the first challenge. It takes about seven months to reach Mars, traveling millions of kilometers through cold, empty space. Once there, settlers would step onto a world with a sky-tinted orange, a desert of rust-colored dust, and temperatures colder than Antarctica. The gravity would be just a third of Earth's, making every movement feel light and surreal. The first colonies would likely be underground or inside massive domes, protecting humans from deadly radiation and freezing nights. Artificial atmospheres would provide breathable air, while solar panels and nuclear reactors would generate power. Every drop of water, every breath of oxygen, every calorie of food would have to be carefully managed or produced right there on Mars. Over time, we might begin to terraform, releasing greenhouse gases to warm the planet, melting polar ice to form rivers and lakes, and planting genetically engineered crops that can survive in thin air and weak sunlight. It would take centuries, but Mars could slowly begin to turn green. Imagine children born under the Martian sky, never having seen Earth except through pictures. They'd grow up with lighter bones, stronger lungs, and perhaps even a different perspective on life itself. Mars would no longer be the red planet. It would be home. Colonizing Mars wouldn't just be about survival. It would be humanity's greatest leap forward, proving that we can adapt beyond our home world. It would mark the beginning of a multi-planetary civilization where our species ensures its survival among the stars. Someday, when we look up at that tiny red dot in the sky, we might not just wonder about Mars. We might wave hello to our distant neighbors living there.